everyone thank you for joining uh, once again and we're talking about Jesus we're talking about his ministry we're talking about the finished work of the cross and the blessings of the cross uh, and today i want to focus on the fact that the lord jesus continues to release his miracles we know that jesus heals he continues to heal um uh, anyone who calls out to him but the lord jesus also performs miracles there's that there is this wonderful uh, story in in a scripture we read about a marriage that took place in uh, a, a place called cana in john chapter 2 verses 9 through 10 we read this when the master of the feast had tasted the water that was made wine and did not know where it came from but the servants who had drawn the water knew the master of the feast called the bridegroom and he said to him every man at the beginning sets out the good wine and when the guests have well drunk then the inferior you have kept the good wine until now you know this is a uh, uh, an amazing event where we see a supernatural work of god and which is why we're calling it a miracle a miracle is unusual it's something that cannot happen but it has taken place so what really happened at this wedding of cana is that you know, the lord jesus was invited uh, and so were many others um, as guests so they were all there at the wedding uh, however the host of the wedding ran out of wine and anyone who knows you know even a little bit about wine understands that wine has to be matured over time you know, it it is a broad gen brought out generally from the derivatives of grapefruit uh, and after that it is kept aside to mature and then there are all um, these um, uh, you know labels given to the best wine which which has been kept aside for several years and and so on and so forth so the best wine is generally something that has been uh, kept aside for a long period of time now just think about this jesus goes for the wedding and there is um, uh, no wine so you know, he performs a miracle and the miracle is that he makes wine out of water now, how can that happen even the source that has been used to make wine is not your normal source and which is why we're calling this a miracle and we just read that uh the people who drank the wine you know they they uh, remarked that this was excellent wine and that the host seemed to have preserved the best for the last but the reality was that they ran out of wine so you know what do we understand about the works of god you know god is a miracle worker there are things that only god can do there are things that cannot take place in the natural but god's power is able to do that you know science i uh, may not be able to explain how certain elements can turn into some other elements but you know in moments we see something like this happening a miracle taking place and so you know uh, this god that we serve he is a god who responds to our prayers and today you know, some of us could be in circumstances that uh, you know we we're crying out to god and we're saying god you know i i'm short of supply I am running out of opportunities God I have um you know wasted resources and I am at a place where you know very soon I am going to experience lack and you know I am just going to um um uh, hit rock bottom but you know, we see Jesus stepping into situations like this and bringing forth miracles things that we cannot imagine are possible through faith and i just want to encourage you to put your faith in the lord jesus trust him the god who is able to turn water into wine the god who is able to supply in a time of great shortage is able to do this and much more for anyone who calls out to him anyone who puts their faith in him let's just pray together heavenly father we thank you that you are mindful of your children and god especially pray for those who are experiencing difficulties um and god uh, um things lord that that are uh, bringing them down father god father i just pray for the release of your miracles oh god 
Lord, the way you perform miracles during your time here on earth, Lord, I pray that many such mighty works will be done in the lives of your people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.